And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis After Dark. What an amazing match. Unbelievable, guys. If you follow the channel, you know there is one person that has ruined three double-digit win streaks for me. Only one person on the entire tour that has ruined three double-digit win streaks for me. And that's Sophia Kennan. Listen, Sophia Kennan, she was my favorite player from 2018, 19 to 2020. And I really like Sophia Kennan so much that, to be honest with you, I back her out of just favoritism when the reality is you should probably stay far away from her until she shows more consistency. She's ruined three double digit win streaks one person and we all know the americans four double digit win streaks have come from sophia kennan and bernarda para the americans two ladies have ruined four double digit win streaks but nonetheless hats off to elizabeth cocadeto she played an amazing match and i'll be honest with you guys i watched her play and that's why i said listen guys 10 in a row put the bank roll aside because this was a match where it wasn't a numeric play it was look it was a favoritism play i'm just going for one of my favorite players to beat someone she should beat but the reality here is elizabeth played amazing let's take a look at the numbers guys all right so first let's start with the second set uh sophia kennan two double faults but she won 74% of her first serves. Elizabeth 65. She broke Elizabeth twice. Elizabeth did break, but Sophia Kennan broke back and then got the advantage. 34 total points. 11 winners. She was aggressive, but it looked like Elizabeth in that second set. It looked like she got a little tight. She called for the physio going into the third set, and it really looked like, um, I'm sorry, she called for the physio after the first set going into the second set, and it looked like Sophia Kennan just came out guns blazing. It looked like she would run away with the match, to be honest with you, uh, but in the third set, pff, Elizabeth just broke her immediately, and look, Sophia Kennan came out flat in that third set, very Look, just atrocious. You know you're serving first. Look, any tennis player that serves first has the mental advantage because if you can get a break, the score can look really lopsided, a lot more lopsided than what it really is. If you can get a break and hold serving first, you could literally be up three service games when the reality is you're just up a break and a hold versus the opposing player, if they're returning first, if they get a break and hold, then they'll just be up two service games. So mentally serving first is an advantage. But listen in the, the third set, five aces from Elizabeth. Sophia Kennan was getting her first service in play. Elizabeth only got 57% of her first service in play, but she won 69% of those points. Sophia Kennan got 83% of her first service in play and only won 37% of those points. Are you kidding me or what? Seven for 19 is abhorrent. Two for five on break points. Elizabeth is a five for five over break points. And that's the match right there, guys. I took Sophia Kennan to win this match personally. It was a personal play. She ruined the win streak. Ten match win streak is over. Sophia Kennan has ruined three of my double digit win streaks in the last six months. Sophia Kennan has ruined them all, ladies and gentlemen. I personally lost $20 on this match. I put 20 bucks on Sophia Kennan and I lost it. Thank you, big game, Sophia Kennan. But listen, guys, Elizabeth deserves all the credit. She's playing well, guys. I need to reassess her game because she she's making shots. She is literally, she looks like Blinkova, to be honest with you. And it's ironic that she has a chance to play Blinkova in the finals if she gets past Lauren Davis. I got to be honest with you. I'm so ready to fade Elizabeth. She calls for the physio this match. Is she going to be okay for the next match? We'll see. And that's... And that's a wrap, guys, from Hobart. We have one half of the semifinal complete. Elizabeth Cocoreto defeats Sophia Kennan in three sets. It was a tie break. The over was the easy play, but I wanted to go with one of my favorite players to win it. She does not get the victory, ladies and gentlemen. Sophia Kennan is out. Ten wins. The streak ends at that. and We will start off a new win streak. We'll be back with another one. Working on the Australian Open draw. Stay tuned for that, guys. We have Kuna Matova and Belinda Bensik. Listen, guys, I like Kuna Matova on the spread. Stay tuned. I might even do a video for that. This is good energy. Stay tuned for more tennis after dark.